We're here in beautiful Sydney Harbour at the International Convention Centre Sydney where we're learning all about singularity. What is singularity? Think about the convergence of all of the latest technologies at some point in the future where it radically changes the way we live our lives. Think big data, think biotech, robotics, VR, AI. All of these new future industries converging to create a whole new lifestyle for us all. Disrupting society, improving our lives. Let's go and check it out. Hey, I'm here with Kane from Start VR. Hey Kane, how are you going mate? Yeah, good, really good, thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Can you tell me a little bit about Start VR? Yeah, so we're an interactive uh, cinematic virtual reality and AR production company. So we make a lot of AR and VR content, uh, interactive in nature so that you can get to shape and control the outcome. And we do software development, content development. The problems today are about how we, how we educate people, how do we get information across in a way that is succinct, easily retained and highly memorable. Uh, VR is proving itself to be you know, a technology that can you know, entertain and educate people in a way that is really transformative, leaves long lasting memories on the brain, is easy to recall. And obviously through things like you know, uh, virtual simulation, for example, people are able to try out and experience new things without the danger and hassle of actually having to do it itself. So it's solving a lot of different problems across a range of different industries. I'm here with Tony from Bindi Maps. Tony, tell us a little bit about Bindi Maps. Uh, yeah, well, Bindi Maps is all about indoor navigation for everyone, including people who are blind or vision impaired. So we help users get around where Google Maps and Apple Maps can't reach, GPS can't reach, uh, indoor in, in complex indoor uh, locations. Double tap to the, the cafe on the western side is located on level one ICC. To get to your destination, you will pass two waypoints. Next waypoint you have to pass is western corner of exhibition corridor. Excellent, excellent. And then Singularity is the concept of uniting technologies, right? Unifying technologies. And, and so how does Bindi Maps do that? Uh, yeah, well, we're actually the technology that helps you get around. So we're putting that into your hands and giving you the power to participate in community life and get out there and do things uh, no matter what your level of, of ability or sight. Uh, so yeah, that, that's what we do. And uh, to show the users and, and visitors to Singularity U, we've, we've installed Bindi Maps here at the ICC, so we're really proud of that. So anybody who can anybody can find their way to any of the exhibits or, or, or any of the sessions today um, using using Bindi Maps. Just open it up and it'll direct you where you need to go. I'm here with Cameron from Rastrum. Cameron, how are you going? Are you printing human hearts? <laughs> Not quite yet, but that's the goal. So we're, we're printing human cells and uh, we do that to make little mini organs. And actually the main thing we do at the moment is print little models of cancer. So we print cancer cells primarily. Wow, wow. Well, give us a little tour, mate. Show me how this uh, machine works. This is Rastrum. Uh, it's a benchtop 3D bioprinting platform. So uh, you might be familiar with 3D printers, print plastic and metals into 3D objects. Exactly the same premise, but we print living cells and jelly-like materials. And uh, we do that to create little models of, of tumour and other disease really, really quickly. Uh, so, you, so you're feeding the inkjet cartridge with cells, basically? Spot on. That's what we do, yep. So do you ever see a time where mum and dad can have one of these machines, you know, on their kitchen top and, and print their own new heart. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're a way off, but the, the dream is that eventually you could take your own cells, uh, print a new heart, uh, new, new lungs, new liver. Um, so instead of waiting on a, on a transplant, on a donor that your body might reject, you print a print a new body part with your own cells. And uh, so certainly it's a, it's a way on the horizon, but that, that's the future, that's the dream. So I'm here with Lauren and Steph from Fathom. Well Fathom is a SaaS augmented analytics platform that looks at the impact of AI and robotic technologies on the future of work. Today we're working with governments, enterprise clients and education institutions to understand and, and see what that impact looks like for their organisation. What Fathom does, it actually looks at the impact now and 15 years out into the future. So what our clients start to assess is what's happening today and then what's happening in 3, 5 and 10 and 15 
15 years. We've seen the impact of technology across organisations in the AI and robotics space already, so we're helping to clients to think about from a strategic perspective what they can do to prepare and catalyse for the evolution of work. It's pretty exponential. I'd say so Fathom philosophically is very much grounded in, in hope for mitigating good social change or enabling it, um, but also pragmatism. So our, I'd say singularity is not really in our remit, but we see when AI can match us in terms of cognitive, social, physical function, and we probably move to this somewhat sci-fi augmentation where we're more deeply interlinked. That's where we get into sentient territory. Um, and right now there's no tangible examples of that. So. Um, past 15 years our modelling stops because we start to then hypothesise too far and I think Singularity is very much in that hypothesis category which is exciting but it's also not the, the pragmatic day-to-day -day of, of governments and enterprises but, but yeah we're here to dream a little and, and learn about it. I love Singularity, yeah, I, um, I'm part of the Canberra chapter, so yeah, we're a baby chapter, but yes, this helps us kind of, yeah, with the inspiration to grow and... Uh, inspiring. It's been excellent, really uh, eye-opening, um, lots of different areas that are growing exponentially. Dynamic, exhilarating, that's more than one word, right? <laughs> Having a great day? Absolutely, loving it. The talks are amazing. It's uh, mind-blowing the convergence of technology, isn't it? It is. I mean, it, all, it is all about exponential technology and transformation of our lives, essentially. Hey guys, you're bloody making a hell of a mess out of here. What's going that's on? That's what we do. <laughs> you, you've got to be messy. You've got to enjoy the food. Get, get in there. This uh, used to be um, a reef. A great barrier reef. So, what we're trying to create is, or get people aware that the reef is dying and that we need to look after it. So, because it's so important for our ecosystem. So, unfortunately, now it's a little bit of a mess because eventually people have to eat it. But yeah, it obviously was a um, food display with a very powerful message. Hey, Dimitri, how you going, mate? Yes. Good to meet you. Good. Tell me a little bit about the Tesla suit. Well, we brought this technolo new technology, uh, which we ourselves call a two-way uh, communication interface. It's made in the form of a suit, it comes as two-piece, fully untethered and wireless, and the use cases are many. The first and lowest hanging fruit, we, we managed to purpose it for enterprise-level training. Uh, this is where we help people to develop uh, cognitive, better cognitive abilities, to memorize the tasks that they need to be, would need to be conduct, conducting on a daily basis. So all these things are becoming possible. So using virtual reality or augmented reality, we can also simulate uh, errors uh, when equipment fails and what would one need to do to recover. But the ultimate goal is obviously we're working towards a rehabilitation market. So th this is where we will we will be able to provide uh, Tesla suits for people to take home to continue rehabilitating outside the hospitals. Absolutely, look I think it's it's so exciting, I think particularly the mindset that's generated through Singularity is really powerful. I just, I think the big thing is if hopefully we can be infectious to everyone and they see it as a, not, a positive thing. Shh, I think we found a real cyborg, come over here. Real cyborgs? Yeah, okay, here we are, yeah, kind of, sure. Why are you a real cyborg? Um, well, we have implants. Um, I've got RFID in this hand, NFC in this hand, and also here we, we don't have keys for anything. Everything from our motor vehicles to our houses, all swipe, 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 wave hands. We don't use anything like that. We just, we're already implanted. Completely automated. Automated and on the way there. On the way there. Too. So you're like Harry Potter. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. The Force. The Force, the Force, the Star Wars, like Harry Potter. We're not wizards, we're actual real cyborgs. You know? What a great day it's been so far. We've learned so much, we've networked and we've expanded our minds because once a mind is stretched by a new idea, it can never return. The future is fungi. Looks like. Do you happen to have? It's mushrooms. It's all about mushrooms. 
abundance, like technology applied so everyone gets their needs met and the planet gets its needs met too. Solving problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So the story of this is, it's a mushroom bag that had fruited. It was left in the fridge, neglected, dried for six and a half weeks, hard on, knock on hard on wood. I was knocking on it for two days and knocking electricity and dunking in cold water is how they get the signal to fruit and it fruited at the conference. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Yeah. It's like exponential. <laughs> it is totally exponential. Totally exponential. <laughs> So there you have it, singularity. It's the convergence of technology. Think about it, 10, 20 years, 30 years time from now, as the technologies converge, we're gonna live in a whole new society, a new paradigm shift for humanity. I can't believe it, it's gonna be a great time to be alive.